wasn't sure if I was going to make a video to review this episode of X-Men 97, but I think I have to, because at this point, we're seeing the build-up, and the build-up is going crazy. The episode picks up from where we left off in the last video, or rather the last episode, with Rogue making the ultimate choice, and the X-Men having to face off against a super cyborg that was taking all of their hits without damage. Then go for Cable. Well, you see, the thing about Cable is he's pissed at his dad for some reason. Even if he knows that his father made the choice to send him to the future because they could not cure him in the past. And it worked out. But I think he's blaming his father for the choices they made in the past that resulted in that terrible future, which is unfair. It feels like he's transferring aggression to his father for the outcome of the future. You cannot blame one man for a terrible future. We also find out what that future actually is. Humanity has basically become mutation. That's what I'm saying, like, there is no logic to it. The Sentinels has basically mutated humanity to mutants themselves. So doesn't that mean everyone is a mutant in the future? But apparently, prime mutants are now the slaves of the future. Makes no freaking sense using them for slave labor. This is a different days of a future I'm used to. But this future sounds terrible. They literally use prime mutants as minority to do coal mining gigs when they could just use a machine. Nah, they use mutants. They use Polaris to change the Earth's whatever. It's so weird. And the fact that Cyclops is literally f having an ego match with his son is just freaking ridiculous. Then we find out that the Sentinels reveal that Charles Xavier is still alive and the mutant lies and everyone turns against the mutants. Like, bruh, you all were just trying to say mutants are good, but the smallest kerfuffle why like you people turn on them, insane. And the fact that this senator or speaker of the House of Rep is still alive got to me because I thought she was in on the plan only to find out that they saved her and kept her alive and shit. And she's here observing Magneto being tortured, having to watch the fallout of everything in Genosha. It made me so angry. This brother just watched his people die and now you're forcing him to watch the fallout. What, what kind of, what kind of sick, demented activity is this? Cause I don't understand. And she's just there watching him, knowing full well that this is wrong. I mean, obviously, she releases him at the end, but still. And we also find out the origin of this, whatever he is. The crossbreed between a Nimrod human and a mutant. And I don't know. I don't care. He's a killer. I want my boy Magneto freed. The hell? We got a lot of cameos. Dr. Doom, Baron Zemo, all working together to bring mutants down. Even Sinister was working for this guy. Mutating ordinary people to become like on the sideline sentinels that the second they sense a mutant they will just transform regular ass people i mean fathers mothers reporters <laughs> and we see that the sentinels cannot even die they cannot be hurt and they are strong i mean this baby just flipped over the juggernaut that's, that was an incredible feat and obviously that was not the juggernaut it was what's his name morph morph is way too op in my opinion i've been saying it since I mean, the battle scene that took place in the house was peak because we got to see Nightcrawler with three blades and he was good. I mean, he was eating in this battle. Honestly, Nightcrawler is him. With this animation style, he is him. I mean, I'm not deep into Nightcrawler lore, but when he teleports, where does he go to in between jumps? Is this a type of shadow realm? Anyways, when the bad guys finally find out that Shorty released Magneto, they were pissed off. And Shorty gives this big ass speech, basically saying Magneto was right. Only for Magneto to go to the North or South Pole, place his hand on the ground and say enough, turning off all the electricity on planet Earth. Do you know how insane that sounds? Oh, and Spider-Man was in this episode. So was Silver Samurai. So was Omega Red. I mean, I don't know why they showed all these guys, but that was insane to me. Magneto is a god literally how do you turn off all electricity on a planet not a continent a planet yeah he is him oh and professor xavier is back so i'm guessing this next few episodes are going to be like serious finale ish i just don't want charles preaching unity anymore just leave like you're doing in the comics go and 
make Wakoa fuck humanity.